got a menagerie of, of neat creatures in the movie. We've got Spuzzard, who's a sort of spider slash fly-like insect that uh, attacks the colony at the beginning of the movie. We've got a car crusher, which is a giant monster that happens during the, the very first phases of the Agatha infestation, if you like, that, that kills Joel's parents. We don't really see it super clearly, but you get the idea that it's really big. Um, we've got the siren, who's a large millipede looking monster with large antennae that it's it's relatively blind but it sings and hypnotizes its prey and then feels them out with the antenna which is pretty neat uh we've got sand gobblers we've got baby sand gobblers and uh queen sand gobblers the baby ones are about two meters long uh they attack joel when he falls into their nest as as joel does and then later he encounters the queen sand gobbler who's sort of yeah. 35 feet long a tor underground torpedo of a creature uh, and of course we've got Hellcrab, uh, our big guy on the beach, uh, who, who is the one that Joel finally empathizes with and uh, realizes that not all creatures are evil. And there's Boulder Snail, who I completely forgot, who's, who's one of the first creatures that Joel meets that doesn't try to kill him. The most complex is going to be the Hellcrab, just because he's such a major character and it's, he's in the whole the, the finale of the movie involves him and he's he's a beautiful like quasimodo like tortured soul he's doing doing the evil bidding of, of cap but all he wants is to be free and i don't know frolic with his friends but uh he's had a complicated life uh you can see from all the accoutrement and barnacles and bits of detritus that have stuck to him over the years and He's, he's the one we're meant to go, go from being scared of to sympathizing with and then ultimately he joins you know, Joel's team by, by destroying Cap's yacht and, and, and ending, the, ending Cap's reign. My favorite I think would have to be the boulder snail because as it's scripted now he initially looks quite terrifying but immediately as he realizes there's no threat he softens off into this quite beautifully goofy harmless almost almost like a, a dumb cat face sort of creature who then just just very ca casually wanders off on his own own adventures and doesn't care about doesn't care about killing people or surviving he's just he's just wandering around having a great old time over the last few months my 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 internet history is just insects amphibians mutations uh giganticism it, it's actually there's, there's some amazing stuff out there, there's stuff that you'd never, never believe was actually a real creature from microscopic creatures through to actually quite large insect, horrific looking insects that, that exist on Earth that, you know, I had no idea existed.